A murder case in Shawnee has no suspect after a man was killed in January of 2022. I'm Jessica Shambach. I'm Evan Onstott. The family of Brandon Kasika wants answers and they're trying to take action as Shawnee police are still investigating this case. KOCO's Jason Berger talked to Brandon's mother today and Jason, uh, she says that she's done all she knows how to do. Yeah, guys, that's right. All Brandon's mom can do is hand out these flyers, hoping that someone knows something. It's been over two years with no closure. He's always helping the homeless. I mean, just he was that outgoing person. It's been over two years since 35 year old Brandon Kasika was found dead, shot at a home in Shawnee near 10th Street and Adelot Avenue. His mother, Angela, told me he was her primary caretaker after she was injured in a car crash. He helped take care of me after I got into my car wreck. She describes her son as a compassionate father and a caring friend to others. And as detectives with Shawnee PD investigate, they're finding out the same thing. He's been knocking on doors, he said, interviewing different people. Mm -hmm. And everybody, he said that knew Brandon didn't have a bad thing to say about him. They say he was a lovable person. But since January 30th of 2022. Whoever did this still running loose out there, you know. According to the Shawnee police report, the suspect shot Brandon Kasika sometime after two o'clock that morning. A person staying at that house fled when he heard the gunshot, but told police the shooter was wearing a red hoodie and light blue jeans. He also told police the gunman specifically, quote, asked for his nephew BK. All natives in Shawnee told me he's just another dead native. No, uh, -uh. he's a person, a human being. He was a father, a brother, you know, a son, a a nephew. Angela and her family organized an effort to try to spark some kind of momentum in the case. They've set up a memorial walk for Brandon in March with a vigil afterwards. We're going to be walking from Fairview Cemetery in Shawnee to Shawnee Police Department hoping to get answers because uh, we want justice. We want closure. And that walk will be March 8th at 2 p.m. in Shawnee. Police say there is, this is still an open case and no official suspects yet.